We turn now to the sad case of a horse that collapsed and died on a sidewalk in South Acres. We obtained surveillance video of the horse's last moments. It's a story you'll see only on two tonight. KPRC 2's Corley Peel and photojournalist Patrick Hardsteed spotted the horse outside a gas station on Cullen and Holloway. Corley joins us now from where the horse is still on the side of the road more than 17 hours after its death. We want to warn our viewers some of the images in this story are disturbing and unsuitable for sensitive viewers. It's not uncommon to see people riding horses in this area. A lot of homes have livestock, but you can see a lot of cars are driving by here, and it is uncommon to see a dead horse in this highly populated community. Driving down Cullen Boulevard, photojournalist Patrick Hardesty noticed this unresponsive horse on the side of the road. I immediately called 311 and was told we weren't the first to report the dead animal. Kim Richard owns a nearby business. She also called authorities. They said they were sent somebody had already reported it and they was going to send animal control. Out. A nearby store surveillance captured the horse walking by around 3 30 a.m. It's dark, but you see the horse walk into the middle of the street. A white car slows down, allowing the horse to move before driving away. A black car also slows down for the horse. Richard's surveillance cameras show the horse walking towards the sidewalk. The horse appears to collapse. It's heartbreaking because, you know, that's somebody that took care of them and loved them. HPD officers also showed up saying animal control was involved. Susan Dancer is a director of Texas Blessings Rescue and a certified animal cruelty investigator. She says a horse randomly collapsing near a busy street is unusual. That's something I would uh, Associate more with the heat of summer, really super hot days where dehydration and exhaustion are, are more rampant, but weather's pretty mild. It's very strange. Based on pictures, Dancer says it doesn't appear there was any signs of neglect. Those lacerations on the the back of the horse's lower abdomen were com compatible with a horse that was had jumped a fence and didn't quite clear it. We've actually seen similar wounds on several horses over the years. Look like there might have been a little bit of trauma to the head, but the fluid and, and whatnot that was around her is probably just conducive with normal decomposition. Oh, we can bring closure to them about what happened to the animal. I really do. As cars keep driving by the horse, Richard hopes for answers. I have been in contact with Bark. They say they do have on-call animal enforcement officers that work on the weekends. They say solid waste typically picks up dead animals. At this time, it's unclear when the horse will be removed, and we are working to find out what happened to the horse. We, of course, will keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.